It's video, actually. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> You okay. could kill a squirrel and like, cut a mustache. People with butt. like upside down cones, like okay. you know, half mustaches. Like I don't know why people don't do that anymore. I think that a mustache was hot. I went up to this this couple that was holding themselves. You guys saw them over there. Cause I thought they were Jonathan together, like one person. Big Jonathan. He's not here. He's not here. Now we're trying to find escape tunnels under the uh, Ren building. We're also trying to find Jonathan. I know it's simple to have it every day. But you've been gone so long, but gone so long. She said, baby, don't you see that I'm afraid? It's a tired answer to an old busty game. I know you think you're living by yourself.
second verse right there, right? From the top, man, from the top. I just gotta do, I just gotta do it straight through. <clears throat> it's coming. Now that I can see the lyrics. It's so from the broccoli. Do you want a mic set? Do you want a music set? No, no, no. He's, he's, he's got, got one. The band made. He's got it one. It doesn't matter. Alright, this is one. This is the one. I don't know. The bass guitar. D.I. D.I. That stands for direct input. Damn. It's oh. an acronym. Oh. Or, um, deadly injection. You do whatever you got. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's brown. Or duplicitous intent. I believe. <laughs> or dual individuality. Or defeasement incorporated. <laughs> or defecate intensely. Or dereliction of intelligence. <laughs> That's nice, but it's not like perfect, you know? Oh. Don't film me. The thing I hate about Dingle. Nothing in headphones. It's a confession. Yes, in real world confession. Yeah, I'll do a confession room in there. You guys can just talk about your phone. Sitting on a job. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Yeah, there it is. Check, check. Check, check. Mic, check. Till tomorrow! I'll take it. nothing to do with lead guitar and rhythm. That's right. It's purely a uh, Dingle and Connor thing, and we don't endorse any kind of behavior like that. You may actually hurt yourself if you attempt that. So uh, just be aware that there are some internal politics, some currents of information transmission within the group itself that may not uh, adhere to your concept of a unified whole. Uh, I do run, but it's usually from cops and dogs. I don't run. Out of fear, sometimes, also. Yeah. But that's just me. Don't be fooled by the Glocks I got. I'm still boogie, boogie, from the block. And that's what we think. How did pot liquor come about, Connor? You filming? I went to the post office one day to mail off a manuscript. You remember this, Obi? I do, very well. <laughs> Standing in line. And then I'm like, who's that tall, leery eyed, like, savage wolverine looking motherfucker that looks real cool down at the end of the line he kind of reminds he kind of reminds me of this guy a little bit i used to know so little berry lived with me in nashville lived with i mean all of us in the nashville crew with my older brother back in the day so i go over there and it is little berry i'm like lb what's up man last time i saw you was in tennessee and he's like yeah i'm back in williamsburg trying to get back in school so immediately it was just kind of like all right you want to play? Because, I mean, LB and I can... Uh, One of the best musicians and guitarists that I've ever had the pleasure to hang out with right here. I really feel like his company. That feeling is mutual. Thank you for that. Yeah. Very mutual and more so. Anyway, I remember Lil Berry was like probably the gnarliest guitar player I've ever mm -hmm. come across in my days. So I was like, yeah, man, we should probably play. And uh, as I recall, he invited me out to... His apartment, which was an old store in the village, which was that's a living above the antique store. Yeah, which was an antique shop in Norge, and uh, yeah, so I went up there and he was playing some Bjork, reading some T.S. Eliot, and I was like, 
yeah, this is gonna go well. <laughs> so then uh, he offered me a mineral mineral water, and I said word, and then we commenced playing two acoustic guitars and. I, as I recall, after that, after a long jam, we just kind of looked at each other and we were like, yeah, we should do this again. That's when we realized <laughs> that the, the, the fruitfulness of me writing music and just handing it off and whatever happened to it after I handed it off was like how the song went. We discovered LB's like spark ability and my like developmental ability. And so that's kind of how Potlicker began. And then at some point, it was very rough and we neither one of us had played in a band in a long time and... We were both kind of like Rex, sort of getting our lives together. And at some point, I had to move out of my sh- sh- bad, messy apartment. And um, LB was like, yeah, well, I got I to gotta move somewhere too. So uh, let's look for a farmhouse. And I was like, that's a good idea. And then we found an ad in a Virginia Gazette. Yep. Called that person for like three months. And then... Uh, <laughs> He Talk, was like, he's talked like, to him to twice. Rent a fucking apartment, and he would not answer calls. They were like, "I want to rent your apartment." Dave Snell. That's you have reached the voice Snow. box. Oh, Dave Snell. Anyway, so we get up with Dave. Yeah, we get we get into that house, and it's like it was like heaven. I mean, you know, Field of Dreams when they go, "Is this heaven?" And he goes, "Nah, it's Iowa." It was like that. It was like, "Nah, it's Toano." You know. So that's where that's where we were out living there, and um, at some point, uh, LB was like. Uh, yeah, man, we need a drummer. So, we went on Craigslist and put up a, I think, so sad. it's pretty cool. That's actually incorrect. I, I had no idea that the drummer thing was happening until you did. I, I thought you pushed me on it. No, I, think, I, no, no, I just did that yeah, on my own volition. You, he, you put, uh, he put an ad on Craigslist and said, we're two guys don't getting don't down in a farmhouse, we need a drummer. We like music. <laughs> and I think we should cut to Jada okay. at this point to take up this story. And this is the guy who showed up. This is the guy, this is the only guy that responded. <laughs> so I got the gig. <laughs> I'm very, very proud of this. He responded song, and he goes, he, goes, he goes, I would like to come audition. And we were like, shit, you're the only one that responded. You're in. Why don't you just come on over? And, and so, why don't you take a story from here? Well, they asked me if I played drums and I said yes. And fucking hey, you're in. And we had at least half a drum kit. And the first the night, farmhouse. the first night we uh, we auditioned Jada, <laughs> Little Bear couldn't even make it because Little Bear was like out of town. The spookiest, darkest house, which was. Uh, <laughs> and I, <laughs> and was, I wouldn't even let's drive. Just up call the, it quaint. And I, I wouldn't. Quaint. I wouldn't. It was dark. I wouldn't even drive up the driveway because <laughs> the light, all the lights were out. No one was there in the not, house. No one was there because I was still at work <laughs> and I got caught at the ham shop late. And so like, I oh, sit there for about two three minutes, going, "This is." This is fucked up. And he calls this me, and I get this number, and he's like, where are you? And so I pull in, and I see his like big white van just sitting there in the darkness. <laughs> at the end, so it was creepy. Who's more spooky, me or yeah. 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 So we get out, and we, we kind of like eye each other in the darkness, and we're just like, all right, then. And then we go I inside, did, yeah. and I'm like, here's the drum set. And he sits down, and I just plugged in the guitar, and, and we jammed on a couple things, and then we were like, yeah, this will do. It's, 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 <laughs> you, you figure out if you can play right off the bat. You know, yeah. I mean... It, and audition literally lasts about five seconds. He sat down the drum set and he just went. <laughs> yeah, this sounds all right. And I was like, Yeah, that's our guy. Again, I was like, Oh, you tell me about that. Yeah. yeah. And then um, I called LB afterwards, and he was like, Sorry, ma'am, I'm still in Roanoke. How did it go? And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> It's like it's a pot 
that we just throw everything we got in, in, in the house. We just throw it in there and boil it. And then, uh, no limits. I mean, whatever, yeah. whatever in, inspires us with it. You know. Yeah. And if you check out our uh, Bandcamp site, you will ourself. see that really there's just a, there's just no, there's no, there's no barriers to who is involved in the liquor. I mean, everybody is a part of the liquor. Anybody can be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, in this day and age, with everything, come on down and, and join up. For when, the cause. when in this day and age, when everything is so digital and so perfect and so clean, we the it's, contrast, a little, it's, it's a little, little bit of humanity. It's a little bit. It's a little breath of humanity <laughs> in this. Yeah. We are age. strong enough.